Craig Ripley here. Welcome once again to Living Off the Slab. Today, what I'm going to do is get away from bikes a little bit, and I want to talk about at least what I think is the most important thing about motorcycling, and that is the experiences that we have on the bike and where they take us. So if you're familiar with this channel, you know that one of the primary reasons I do this is to inspire others to get out and live your motorcycle dreams, right? Whether it be riding across the country, riding up to Alaska, or riding all the way around the world. I want to let you know that even though you've got a full-time job and you have family and you have responsibilities, it is possible to, again, live your motorcycle dreams. So even though my goal is to inspire others, I need a little bit of inspiration as well. And where I've been getting that here over the last couple of years or so is from a place called Adventure Rider Radio. It's a podcast put on by Jim Martin, and he does an amazing job. Please go and check it out. Uh, check out his website, and you can catch up on all of his podcasts. Again, that's Adventure Rider Radio. Now, along with Adventure Rider Radio, Jim also has a second podcast he calls ARR Raw, in which he gets a bunch of seasoned, round-the-world travelers together, and they basically have a roundtable discussion about what it takes to get a ride around the world, or even to just do any kind of long trip and fulfill some of your goals. Now, one of the regulars on ARR Raw is a gentleman named Sam Manicom. And he is a guy who didn't really know how to ride, but he decided that he wanted to take a round-the-world trip on his motorcycle. So he bought one, learned how to do it, packed it up, and then headed down into Africa and ended up going all the way around the world, taking him eight years in the process. Now, after Sam got back from this eight-year odyssey, he decided to start writing down some of his adventures. And he ended up writing four books about the entire trip. First one, Into Africa, and then Under Asian Skies, Distant Suns, and his last book is called Tortillas to Totems, and it's about his trip from South America up into the United States and Canada. So a few months ago, I picked up Sam's latest book, and I got it as both the digital version that I could read on my tablet, and also I purchased the audio version, because I thought it might be fun to be able to read along and then also hear Sam's voice as he adds the inflections and things that he intended in his own words. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Sam really tells a great story. He's a really good writer, and also he really does a great job of narrating his own book as well. Right? I particularly found interesting uh, how Sam was having some trepidation on going from being in these third world countries for the last several years and now moving up into Mexico, to the United States, and Canada, and fearing that there might be a little culture shock as he moved up into our first world countries. Now, interestingly enough, after I got done reading the book, I found out that Sam was going to be here at a local shop over in Brockton, Massachusetts, doing a presentation about his trip and about his books. So my wife Kathy expressed interest in going with me, so we headed out and went over to see Sam speak. So Kathy and myself really enjoyed Sam's presentation. It focused on his trip into Africa. He's a great storyteller, so he's told us a lot of stories about the wonderful people that he met and also some of the hard times that he ran into on this trip, right? Because no trip, especially if it's that long, is going to be all roses, right? You're going to get some thorns along the way. So right here, I want to take the time to thank Sam for speaking with Kathy and I, in particular, his taking the time to listen to Kathy's story about her accident and also give her some encouragement to continue the healing process and to possibly getting back on the bike again. So a lot of Sam's stories about the people in Africa really touched my wife very much and uh, said it, it really, I think, made a big difference and uh, I really appreciate, again, you taking the time to do that. So after enjoying Sam's last book, Tortillas to Totems, so much, I decided this time to pick up the rest of his books on audio CD. And I did that because I can listen to them at work. Also, I'm heading down to Texas here on a plane flight pretty soon, and I can listen to these on the way as well.
So if you guys are looking for some inspiration to get out there and make your big long trip, the thing that you've always been dreaming of, again, I suggest this is a good place to start, right, with Sam Manicom's books, right? Check him out. His website's right down here. And also I'll have all of the information on how to get these uh, books and also the CDs if you want them uh, in the description of this video. So guys, thanks a lot. And as always, remember, if you're going to buy from Twisted Throttle, please do so by linking through my website. Again, it helps these videos to continue coming. And also, if you want to buy a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, you can do that on my website. Again, right down there as well. All right, thanks everybody. We'll talk to you again later.